It's me, it's me, it's Knockout21. How are y'all doing today? Now, as you can look at the title of this video, I'm going to be reviewing X Men vs. Street Fighter on a Saturn. Now, I did not know this version existed for the longest time. Back in the day, the only version I've ever played was on my friend's PlayStation. And around this time, everyone was hyping up this game. People played it in arcade. And they were talking about the tag team feature, all the characters, how awesome it was. So they really, really, really hyped it up. However, I never got a chance to play the arcade version until much, much later. But that's besides the point. The first X-Men vs. Street Fighter I've ever laid eyes on was on the PlayStation. And one day after school, my friend invited me. I went over to his house. We played, we played. And it was fun, however, I felt like something was missing. Something was not quite right. The animation was really stiff, and it was missing the tag team feature that everyone was talking about. So I was thinking, oh, I thought this was going to be better than I originally had in my mind. So on and so forth, you know. You could say I was a little disappointed, but it was still fun regardless. Little did I know that the Saturn got a much more faithful port than the PlayStation. You see, it wasn't until much, much later, after I got my own Saturn, that this version even existed. So after some digging around and whatever, I bought myself a copy, got myself an action replay, and started playing. And wow, I, I did not know what I was missing out on. This version of x vs. Street Fighter retains all the animation that was found in arcade. The sprites are animated beautifully and each motion really gives you a sense of, their, of the power behind each attack. The characters here look much more fluid as opposed to their stiff counterparts on the PlayStation. In terms of graphics, the sprites are bright and well drawn. Though my main complaint is that they're a bit of a mismatch, I gotta be honest. Some of the Street Fighter characters seem a little too small compared to their Marvel counterparts. Though well, that's something you could easily overlook. The backgrounds, well, it's a hit or miss for me. Some of them seem kind of bland, like fighting on top of a fighting on top of a blackbird or on top of a tree. But some other ones, like the oil refinery or the television studio, seem much more animated and lively. Music is a little hard to judge. Like, I'm not knocking anything against the tracks. They sound great. Some of the X-Men character themes are really iconic. I remember them throughout the series. So they're pretty good. However, the, however, the arranged tracks on the Street Fighter side leaves a little bit to be desired. Nothing too bad. I wish you put a little bit more effort into the Street Fighter characters themes. Gameplay, well as you can see by the footage that I'm not all that great so uh, please do not take what you see on screen as the say all of how the gameplay works on this game. Believe me it's really great. It's just that I'm not very good at these versus titles, especially the Marvel ones. However, it's fast and fun. And it's pretty easy to make combos in this, especially for first-time players. The combos here are not that difficult to pull off. Though the main draw would be the tag team feature. Unlike most fighting games during the era, you could select two fighters and switch between them during the match. And if you level up your super meter to two or more, you could, you could totally unleash a hyper tag team super combo. The match ends when both fighters from either team get knocked out. Controls are spot on and very responsive. The Saturn's control pad matches the arcade layout perfectly. All attacks are on the front facing buttons, so relying on those so relying on those shoulder buttons is totally unnecessary. Though anyone who is used to playing this in arcades may want to invest in a arcade stick 
Extensive playing on the center control pads may lead to your hands feeling a little cramped. Overall, I give this game a B. Now, after giving it so much praise, you're probably wondering why I gave it a B. Well, the thing is, is that it's a little lacking. You see, all you get is arcade mode, a versus mode, and an option. There's nothing like a survival or training mode or anything else to go along with it. But although it is arcade perfect, I wish they would have added a little something extra instead of the bare instead of just the bare bones. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And like always, have a good one. Take care, you guys. <laughs>